Yes, welcome to the chamber, Wendy Alexander. Just ask her first formal question. Here's Alex Salmon's first reply. First question. It coin a phrase. Bring it on. <laughs> Wendy Alexander. Presiding officer, the first minister has been a nationalist all his political life. I am giving him the opportunity to resolve this issue. Why won't he take it? First Minister. Well, let, me, let me acknowledge the progress that Wendy Alexander has made over the last week. She now accepts the right of this Parliament to decide the future in terms of a constitutional referendum put to the people of Scotland. And we have the Duncan McNeil Declaration on behalf of the entire Labour group. We will not vote down any referendum bill that comes into the Parliament. So when we bring forward that bill, knowing that the Labour Party will support it, as stated in our manifesto in 2010, We will Order. accept the support of every Labour member in this Parliament. Yeah. And given the progress that Wendy Alexander has made in the last few days, who knows what side she'll be campaigning on? <laughs> Wendy Alexander. Presiding officer, this is far too serious a matter to jest with. We believe that the uncertainty is damaging Scotland. I and my colleagues have therefore offered our support to bring this issue forward now. We believe that Scotland deserves a choice sooner rather than later. The First Minister tells us that over 80% of Scots want a referendum. So why are we still waiting? First Minister. Well, if Wendy Alexander would allow us, I thought we would stick to what was in the SNP manifesto in pages 8 and 15. You know, Week, week after week, Wendy Alexander comes and demands that we stick to the SNP manifesto. <laughs> Attacks us for not doing so. It's not working because people love the progress we're making in so many issues. <laughs> now she's telling us we shouldn't stick to the manifesto and the 2010 date. Does she not feel her credibility on keeping manifesto promises is being somewhat damaged by this process? <laughs> And I agree with Wendy Alexander, this is a serious process, which is why we're engaging it in a serious way through the national conversation. But it is impossible for anyone outside the Labour Party, and I think most people in it, to take the Labour Party seriously after the last few days. Wendy Alexander. Presiding officer, I have no doubt that the judgment of history will be between those who wanted to let the people speak, and that is me and my colleagues, and those who wanted delay in order to ferment grievance, order. to fray the relationship, and because they feared the result. The uncertainty is damaging our country. Uncertainty costs jobs. Last night, Ian McMillan of the CBI said it was time to lance the boil. I have offered Labour support for an early referendum. The First Minister has spurned that offer. Why won't he bring the bill on? First Minister. Uh, I, I welcome the upsurge of support for a referendum from Ian McMillan and everyone else. But I also noticed the poll in the Scotsman on Friday of business people around Scotland, 648 of them. 39% were now more in favour of independence than 12 months ago. 57.5% believed the SNP was doing a good or excellent job in power, a majority of three to one. The business community of Scotland looking at SNP in action are warming to independence just like the rest of the country. And as the national conversation proceeds with the declared committed support of every Labour MSP, 
with the possible exception of Karen Gillan, <laughs> but every major Labour MSP then will bring forward the legislation, will go into the referendum, and Scotland will vote for independence and freedom. Order. Order. Wendy Alexander, final question. First Minister, I'm not the problem. Labour's not the problem. The legislative timetable's not the problem. Even Nicola Sturgeon this week isn't the problem. The First Minister is the problem when it comes to resolving this issue in the nation's interest. The First Minister has a statement next week on his programme for government. The question is simple. Will he bring forward a referendum bill in next year's legislative programme next week? First Minister. And the answer is we'll stick to what was laid out in the SNP manifesto in pages 8 and 15. Well, I wouldn't say that Wendy Alexander is the only problem the Labour Party has, but I think quite convincingly after the few, last few days we can decide that she's not the answer. Oh!